All right, hey guys, Riley here from becominganelectrician.com. Welcome back to the series on roughing in as an electrician. This is more of a residential setting. We have already covered, you know, what is a scab? We've covered a uh, single gang box, double gang box, and today we're just gonna do a triple gang box. And typically if the switches are all this close together, you would, we, you would wanna be measuring to the screw holes. So you get the height of the one, and then whatever the height of the screw hole is, you wanna match that up if you do not have a laser. But we're just gonna quickly mount a three gang box as a quick reference for you in this video. So it was about 48 and a half to top a box. Again, you can watch the other videos. I was always telling you guys that top of box is by far the easiest way to box out. And when you have that little line right there, that is saying that the person who's marking out, they want the box on this side. Again, when you are using a three gang box, you are gonna need to support it with um, a piece of wood. Now this is a two by four wall, so you will need a two by four. If it was a two by six wall, it needs to be a two by six because the whole point of this piece of wood that you're gonna screw on the other side um, is that when it is installed, it is essentially sandwiching it, okay? Okay, got the first screw in there. You don't need to cinch them down super, super tight, but you do want it to be pretty tight. And then typically we would install two screws here as well, just like uh, when it came to the, the double gang. And then the final step for a uh, three gang is to install it just like this, okay? And again, that's just gonna sandwich it in. Also, when you have a good driver bit, it makes all the difference. You can you can might be able to see like how bad this is wobbling. So it just makes the install so annoying to work with. So when you have a good driver bit, it makes all the difference. And again, so you can see it moves, right? Because it's, it's loose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna support it from the back, push it in, kind of make a little, little divot and then just kind of nice and loose, uh, nice and light because the bit is horrible and it's wobbling. And then there we go. So that's it. That would be your install. We have installed a single gang, double gang, triple gang. When you get a triple gang or more, because there are uh, four gangs where there's four devices, you always need to have just put a support. Again, if it's a two by four wall, it needs to be two by four. If it's a two by six wall, it needs to be a two by six. And again, the whole goal is that it is sandwiching it. And when the drywall comes, that you've got a nice clean install. Okay, so that is it for this video when it comes to boxing in uh, a three gang box. Again, if you guys wanna stay updated with the website, just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe to get my free book for apprentice electricians. You guys can also check the playlist for the roughing in videos and subscribe here on YouTube to not miss a video uh, when I release them. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one. We will probably be start drilling out some holes, talk to you about some tips when it comes to drilling, and then we will be pulling wire, then we will be stapling the wire, and then we'll be entering it into the boxes, okay? We'll probably just focus on these two. It'll be easier for the camera. I just put this here just to show you how it works. Uh, but these three gangs are also very, very nice to work with. Maybe I will do something special in an upcoming video with you guys, kind of maybe showing you how to splice in a single gang, how to splice in a double gang, and how to splice into a triple gang or a three gang. That way you can kind of kind of see uh, in a real world setting, you know, how you do it because, you know, I have looked in a lot of apprentices boxes and they're really messy or even a lot of YouTube tutorials like where they take the bonds and they just splice them, like they just twist them all together. You don't want to do that for maintenance and renovations or anything like that. You want a nice clean install. And again, I was in the field for 10 years and I'll just show you guys a lot of the best practices of what I've seen out there so that you guys can be good apprentices wherever you go. You know, you can be confident.